the battery in my Yamaha DX21 recently died, so I had to replace it. Here's what I did. Taking the back cover off with 10 screws shows the internals here. And it's a good idea to keep the screws all arranged in the same order. And you can see the pattern of the screws. Those are the ones I removed. You don't need to take the rubber feet off. That's the good news. There's also four screws along the side there that need to be removed in order for the motherboard to come off, which we'll have to do in a second. Here's the DX21 tilted forward so you can see the motherboard. There's a lot of connectors on there. I didn't take those connectors apart. I just left them on there. Wasn't necessary. And here's the battery right over here. The battery is what is going to come off. It's soldered in there, so it needs to be desoldered. So the leads are bent on mine anyway, so I needed to bend them up straight so that when I desoldered it, it would come off. You can use a X-Acto knife or pliers, whatever you need. I'm going to desolder those two leads and you can see the batteries out. I'm going to clean those holes with some isopropyl alcohol, 99% to get it nice and cleaned up. Here's the new battery back in. I just pushed it in and it stays in with some pre with its own pressure. And now I need to solder that to make sure it stays tight in there. Here's the soldered battery. Tried to get some nice, good conical solder joints there. And it's all set. Now I just got to reverse the process with the screws, making sure those four on the side go in and then making the case go back together with those 10 screws for the back side. Here it is powered up. Everything looks good. The default patches are all garbage now because the battery's out, but we can reload some other patches to the other banks and turn it on and off and everything looks fine.